guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Alex and I am a full-time reseller online. So if you like everything reseller related content, please stick around. Today's video, I have another haul for y'all. As I mentioned in the last video, I had to break it up into two hauls. Hopefully I can get through everything pretty quickly because the last video I was kind of rambling, but let's just dig into it. Um, like I mentioned, this is just going to be like a mixture of a couple of garage sales and thrift stores. So the first item is this vintage denim, what is this called, newsboy hat. Um, I'm thinking, okay, so I don't know. I think this is vintage, yeah, made in Hong Kong, 100% cotton, size medium, large. Um, this is pretty cool. I think this one would do pretty good. I have to look up comps but I'm thinking maybe like $20 right around there. Um, and I paid a dollar for that at a garage sale. The next item is this vintage Jackson Hole Wyoming sweatshirt. Um, I also paid a dollar for it at this garage sale. There is the tag. <clears throat> and here is the sweatshirt. It's just like a navy blue, it's kind of washed out. Um, these typically don't do that good for me but I still pick them up anyway because people do bundle on Poshmark and I can put that in my antique booth. So hopefully it does do pretty good. Um, maybe 15 to $25. Um, I picked up the, these vintage boot cut leather gap leather pants and I think on there it says 10.45 or something was the price. Um, I didn't even, okay, so these are a size six and I picked these up because obviously who doesn't love leather pants? <laughs> so um, I love leather in general and I do like leather pants. These are really cool. Um, definitely not the season for them now, but I think 50 to $75 is what comps were showing. So I'll do a little bit more research. I'll still um, list them but I won't expect to sell them probably closer to the fall season. At least that's what I'm thinking. I did find another, maybe like four or five belts. They were all $5 each. So I got this one. I'm pretty sure this one's also vintage. It's just a beaded, colorful belt that has all of these, um, I guess it looks like floral patterns and like triangles on there. And this is just the buckle, just like a regular silver buckle. I don't know if this is actually silver. It feels like it was just painted over actually. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really cool, really cute. This one would probably do good on Depop, I think. Um, the next item I got was this vintage shirt. It is Big Bang clothing. Um, how much did I pay for this? This one was $4.99. There's the tag. This is, I picked this up based on style because it's um, like Y2K inspired. It's like a Western print. Um, it looks like newspaper pattern, I guess. Western inspired because it has the rodeo on it. And it does say Texas on it also. So it's probably like the Texas rodeo but it's like all, um, Texas has like all these little rhinestones in it. So this is definitely very Y2K. Um, I got it based on that. Hopefully someone thinks it's good also and likes it. I've been selling through um, some of that Y2K stuff that I picked up at that last garage sale. Um, this one is also Y2K inspired and it is just this vintage blouse. It has a deep v-neck that's like a crossover pattern and it's like this um, transparent um, like mesh type of shirt. It has a lettuce hem and it's like double, double lines? I don't know, but it's like two pieces in the arms and yeah, I thought this was really cute. It has like a floral pattern. This one does have the brand in here, I think. Oh yeah, this is a size large and it is Weston wear. I didn't look up the brands. Typically when I sell vintage, I don't look up the brands unless maybe it's like 
something rare or something that the comps are like selling a lot more but um more than likely i just get it based on style um oh, this one's inside out i picked up this other one because it's definitely y2k it's called amino sino and this one is 100 percent silk and this one i paid 4.99 for it also and this one is also has like those rhinestones right at the bust it has lace over there i'm not sure it looks like maybe it might be a little bit cropped but it has like this really y2k pattern i'm not sure like polka dots maybe leopard or animal print i don't know but um it's definitely giving me like paris hilton vibes i thought that was cute um i would have much rather paid a couple of dollars instead of five for it i got this i think it's tea party which is also um y2k inspired this one i paid 5.99 and this one um is like a it's a long line i don't think it's quite tunic but it has like um all these rhinestones on it again and like a bleach uh splatter all over it it has like um this one has a crown that says love so it's like that princess theme and then on the back it has another large crown with the heart um definitely um y2k it reminds me of like ed hardy um something that britney spears or paris hilton would wear in the early 2000s um it's also giving me like free people vibes because free people also has those ribbed um what are they called tunic sweaters i don't know or like the waffle knit ones but this one is for sure y2k i'm not sure on the comps on those yet on any of these um but i like i said picked it up based on style this one is just some cabbie pants these are 6.99 i don't typically pick up cabbie anymore because they don't really sell that good but um these say size four but these actually look bigger than a size four um but these are cargo pants so i got it based on the style and obviously the brand helped it so cargo um has been trending for a while i'm not sure maybe it's moving into the summer because it was uh for like the spring but i do think that these could transition into the summer it's definitely like an orangey color like an orangey brownish color like khaki but hopefully these do good and um actually i did look up comps for these i think the comps were like anywhere from 40 to 50 dollars which is surprising but um i'll have to research comps again and if you don't know cabby does have um their style number on the tag um so like this one on the inside tag right here it has style 6045 so if you type that into google cabby and then the style number it'll bring up most of the time what this style is called i guess or maybe like some um catalog pictures and also whenever you're listing cabby you want to include this style number because people do um search for that um then can you guess i got some more boots <laughs> so i picked up some cowboy boots um i do live in texas rodeo season is coming up if not already here so you know people like their cowboy boots here for sure and i'm sure in other states as well um i do think that these are women's because the stitching is pink but i think these say size eight and they are justin brand um but they look to be bigger than an eight so i'm not sure or maybe they're like eight and a half i don't know but these surprisingly they were only 6.99 um which I do think is crazy because like I showed y'all some of those shirts were the same price as these boots and I was just like looking over them trying to find out if they were flawed or what was wrong with them because I thought they were kind of you know really cheap okay and I have belts galore okay so I picked up this belt it was $4.99 oh yeah I did say all the belts were $4.99 I did buy one that was $8.99 I picked this one up for the buckle so this one's really cool it has like a silver buckle 
and it has an Amer uh, Native American and it's like inlaid with turquoise and what is the white one called? Turquoise and oh, I can't remember what the white, <laughs> what that white stone is. Hopefully the glare isn't too bad, but I just loved the, this design on the belt on the buckle i didn't look this one up but the belt itself is actually really wide and it does have a lot of scratches so someone could yeah so this comes off and i could sell the belt buckle by itself but i'm not sure maybe i will try and sell them together or look this one up and see um how much it is or how much it's selling for um let me get these out and i picked up this other belt i thought this one was really cool this one does have a brand it is called gay boyer it's a vintage 80s maybe um and it has oops it's like one of these belts that like buckle into itself, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. But like on one side, it has like the stretchy gold. And then on the other side, well actually on part of the belt, it has these chains and like these coin details right there. So um, this is the front. So this would be on the side. And obviously this is stretchy, so it's, somewhat adjustable um but i just loved the design of this and i think these were selling online for like 40 to 50 dollars maybe um i'll have to do a little bit more research to get a more accurate um comp if i can find that particular one and then i got this other stretchy belt i wasn't going to get it but then i changed my mind it just has this little silver heart right there and the rest is like the stretchy material but I ended up getting this because I feel like this is super 90s um, inspired. I could totally see someone wearing this in the 90s with their bucket hat and um, their jeans. So I got this one because I thought it was really cute. Um, and then I found another one of these Brighton Concha belts. This one i think is a little bit different the belt is a little bit thinner and these concha circle things have like a flower in the middle like a filigree flower and obviously the concho or concha i don't know what it's called concho part so concha is in spanish is the braid concho is this one i do think um so you can correct me in the comments but this one actually looks a little bit bigger than the last one that I had but if y'all remember in my what sold video I said if I found another one I was going to price this one higher so I'm surprised that I ended up finding another one literally the same day that I did that video so here is the Brighton tag um, I don't typically like picking up Brighton, but their belts do sell pretty good. Their handbags don't do as good as the belts. Um, it just depends on style on the belt, but I got another one, $8.99. I'm definitely going to price this one higher for sure. Um, maybe like $60 to $70. So let's say $50 to $70, I think. And I have some clothes here. So at my Salvation Army, they had some new target clothes a lot of it wasn't my size but i did find these shorts they are um like a bermuda short they come just above my knee they are black they have like a frayed hem are these distressed yeah they do have distressing on the pocket these are brand new with tags the retail was 20 dollars, so it's not um their universal thread or some of their other brands that they carry there this is just the wild fable one and i think the wild fable is their like juniors line or like their younger line but um these were only four dollars which is still a pretty good deal considering um you know retail is expensive now um and then i got this one at a garage sale for a dollar this is a vintage calvin klein bathing suit um 
Here's the tag. So this one's like a window pane bathing suit and I just washed this so I just took it out of the dryer so this one has super high cut leg area or super high cut legs I don't know but this one's super cute I kind of wish it would fit me but I don't think it will this says a size 8 so I'm thinking probably modern it's probably closer to like a 6 maybe a four. Um, it does look like it's in really good condition. I don't think there's any stains on it. Um, it does have a little bit of peeling on the, near the bottom, but I don't think that's a huge problem. Back to the thrift store. I picked these Hollister pants up. Uh, I think these are a newer style. And this is just, what did they say? Adjustable rise baggy pants. So I picked these up, honestly, for me to try. So these are like a white cargo pants um, and adjustable rise. I mean, I guess you can make it lower rise or high rise, but I, I guess that's what that means. I don't know. Um, so I'm interested in trying these for the summertime. I don't know, because living in Texas, it gets super hot in the summer and I can't even think about putting pants on because I'm just way too hot. So <laughs> I picked this pajama set up for me. It's definitely not the time for it. It is, what is this brand? Hearth and Hands, uh, the Magnolia, the Magnolia line um, by Joanna Gaines. Uh, there's the tag and it's just the plaid. Definitely Christmas uh, pajamas, button up top and I don't know how much the original price was but this one was $3.99 and here are the pants so really cute I could always use a pajama they had tons of those there so maybe I could have bought some for like Christmas presents or birthday presents for like uh Christmas coming up I guess I don't know um and then I got this one for my daughter it's just a blouse from Target. This one was how much? $3.99. The original price was $14. I'm not sure if she's going to wear that, but I still got it. Um, at that uh, thrift store, I picked up these Social Standard Sanctuary stretchy pants. These are going to also be for me, which is another um, cargo pant. <laughs> trend so um it is definitely like a little bit dressier cargo pant i just washed these so they're super wrinkled i do need to like steam them but they are cargo pants and they're the typical khaki pants um my husband actually oh and these do have like the bottom tie where you can like cinch them in to like a jogger style i guess uh, but my husband has been wearing cargo pants for like the last 10 years or so and they're finally coming back in style so he's like <laughs> it's so funny because he's like on trains with his cargo pants and his bass pro hat because i know bass pro hats were trending i don't know if they still are but he has been wearing those for literally like the last 10 years and that's just his style like he uses the cargo pants when he goes fishing um and they're just like his everyday <laughs> go-to pan i guess um i picked this one up this made well top for myself but obviously if it doesn't fit the way i'd like then i'll just resell it maybe i'll take it to plato's closet because made well tops don't really sell that good this one is basically like i'm thinking like you know cargo inspired top also it's definitely giving me like indiana jones vibes with the the pants i just showed you too um and this one is cool because it has the buttons on the back and it's like the tortoise shell buttons it's a little bit high low this one looks a little bit oversized um so i like to wear my tops especially in the summer if they're like button ups a little bit oversized to give it like um an airy feel so i'm not like drenching drenching in sweat in the summertime okay so right on top i have some garage sale finds i don't know if they were good or not but um chase authentics nascar racing shirt 
Not sure if this is going to be anything or not, but I picked it up because I know NASCAR has have been having a moment recently with um, trending, so I'm not sure if it's still trending. Here's another Chase Authentics. I don't even think I showed you the other tag, but this one is an M&M racing one. And this one says number 38 on the back. Not sure who that one is. Um, and then two more right here. This one probably is my favorite. It's a vintage Iron Maiden band shirt. Um, and it's Give Me Ed. And this one is the Texas Tour, I guess, is where this person got it from. Um, the tag is Hanes Heavyweight. And I did look this one up, but comps for these four shirts that I'm showing y'all are like literally all over the place. So I'm not even sure. I might keep that Iron Maiden shirt. Um, I don't know. Then I got this vintage uh, Y2K one, I guess. What is the brand? Dragonfly Clothing Company. I saw one comp of $80, but I'm not even sure. This reminds me of like um, Hot Topic Y2K. And it has like those embroidered dragons. And this is like, um, like a satin top. I thought that one was pretty cool. Definitely Hot Topic Y2K. Um, moving on to the thrift stores. I think that was everything from the garage sales. Um, I picked up this Patagonia puffer jacket. This one, I think is a little bit older. I'm not sure what year and it has Patagonia embroidered there. And it's just your basic puffer jacket. This one was surprisingly only $6.99 at the thrift store. And I got this one half off. And this one is down filled because the feathers are coming out because I washed it because it looked a little bit dingy. So yeah, $6.99, I paid $3.54, which is great. I don't know if I showed y'all this in a previous haul, um, but I picked up this Victoria's Secret pink glitter backpack. This one was $4.04. I picked this one up thinking that I was going to use it maybe when I take my dog for a walk or going to the park, but I don't know. I feel like this is for like 12 year olds or something and I'm not a 12 year old. So I think I'm probably just going to be selling this one. Maybe I'll take it to Play-Doh's closet. Um, and maybe I showed y'all this one, this Victoria's Secret pink fanny pack. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one either. This one would be, this one would be really good also for taking my dog for the, a walk when I don't have pockets, just put my phone and keys in there. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that one either. Okay, the next item I picked up were these Doc Martens. I went to this expensive thrift store um, and this was the only thing that I walked away with. Surprisingly, they were only $15. They are marked as kids, but I think the it says US, women's six so they are really small but i do think that these might be i don't know if they are vintage but they're definitely an older style of doc martens um um it does say the original on the bottom the the top portion of the leather looks pretty used but the bottoms look to be in really great condition they don't look to be that worn just the tops are like really really used so i debated on getting those because they are such a small size but i think i could still probably get let's see 50 to 60 dollars for them maybe i'm hoping um so that's what i'm aiming for for those so i picked up this um coach bag it's not quite vintage yet this one is from the 65th anniversary line. If y'all remember from the previous videos, I did haul a couple of these. This one I picked up at Plato's Closet and it was $20. I don't know if I should have picked it up for 20, but uh, these 65th anniversary lines, or yeah, the purses have these heritage stripes on there and 
Um, and yeah, so that's one way to tell. So this one, I can't remember what the name of this is called, but this one is like the Vachetta leather. This one is pink. It does come with the tiny mini hang tag right there. This one's super cute. You can definitely not, well, you can get it on your shoulder, but it's gonna be a super tight fit, but it's like one of those super cute mini bags. So I don't know, these are reselling maybe like 50 to $75, but I'll have to do a little bit more research. Maybe pink might be a little bit more rare. I don't know, but I do think that the brown or the whiskey color does sell for a little bit better than this color. Uh, <clears throat> I picked up this Survivor Made leather tote. Oh, this one smells really strong leather. <laughs> and it reminds me of like Madewell or um, maybe even this Go Forth Goods that I showed y'all. Did I show y'all in the beginning or the last video? I don't know. But it's definitely like um, a good leather made bag and the inside is raw leather and this is a tag this one was $8.99 but this one was 50% off um actually I'm not sure on comps on this one I'm not sure how good this one's going to do I think this tote probably retailed like a hundred dollars or more but I just don't think that the selling resale value is there i'll have to research a little bit more it's been a minute since i thrifted these um, i picked up this kipling phone bag again this one is brand new with tags this one was 5.99 and it does come complete with a little monkey i think this one retailed like 45 dollars maybe i picked this one up because i thought my daughter would like it but she just looked at me like i was crazy and didn't seem excited so so i don't know maybe i'll keep that one or the pink one from the other video um for taking my dog for a walk or going to the park i don't know yet um if not i'll just resell it for like 30 dollars. then i pick this um vintage bag up based on style so this one is a leather turn lock bag it's definitely um coach vintage coach vibes but this one's not coach um and it does have the raw leather interior this one was $4.99 and I think this might have been 25% off of this color this one is Harv Bernard I don't know if y'all are going to be even able to see in there but Harv Bernard is the brand and definitely coach vibes um i'm not sure i think coach theirs is called the compact bag i can't remember what the style is called but i'll probably sell this one anywhere like 25 to 35 dollars maybe i might put it in my antique booth to see how it does um uh, i picked up this vintage mirror so it is whatever shape this is really cool so my phone or my camera had cut off when i was talking about this mirror so i just purchased this mirror is where i left off it was 6.99 it's this really cool shape um and yeah i think this is gonna be the last item of this haul and i'm gonna just do another small haul um with the rest of the things that i got so hopefully y'all enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up below um and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you like everything reseller related content from hauls to thrift with me's and i'll see you on the next video bye guys